Hello friends, welcome back. In this quick session, we will understand the differences between ESP32 and Node MCU while also understanding the very important features of ESP32. It's a long pending session and I wanted to do it long back, but today I'm doing it. What is ESP32? ESP32 is an evaluation board designed by Espressive Systems and ESP series of microcontrollers are very powerful controllers with high clock speeds, wireless connectivity and including camera interfaces, everything is available. It also has common peripherals and supports the protocols like the I2C, the ADC, the SPA and UART. On a whole, it is one step just below the computer. It also supports different root loaders, which is a very important feature to appreciate and you can install Circuit Python, which is a Python version specifically designed to program microcontrollers. This evaluation board might look very similar to NodeMCU. In fact, it looks very close to NodeMCU, but it is entirely different from the specifications when you compare it with NodeMCU. This board has a 5 volt to 3.3 volt voltage regulator, CP2102 USB to UART converter, which is used to program ESP32. ESP32 is available with multiple versions and multiple variants are available. The most widely and commonly used ESP32 version is ESP32 Broom and you can see the same picture out here of ESP32 Broom. It is a very compactly and nicely packed system on chip with EE Broom, antenna, filtering circuits and oscillators. ESP32 is made of ESP32 DOWDQ and that's that's actually very reliable to use at places where the product needs to definitely qualify the EMI and EMC testing. EMI is electromagnetic interference and e EMC is electromagnetic compliance and all these are required for industry grade certifications. Why is it so special? Uh, why is ESP32 very special? The special features of ESP32 are the architecture of the microcontroller that is being chosen and the number of wireless connectivities which are embedded into it. ESP32 has got classic Bluetooth and BLE support. Both are there along with Wi-Fi. Remember, all these three together make it really nice. And ESP32 comes with the inbuilt low noise amplifier, which means the LNA filtering and impedance matching circuit also is available. And this definitely gives an edge over other options to the makers and the developers to design applications. And the very important point to be remembered here is, it has got two cores, which means multiple tasks can be performed in parallel. One core can be used with Bluetooth to do some operation. Another core can be used simultaneously to control a stepper motor. That's pretty easy and it's one of the very important points to remember. And remember, ESP32 ESP is one of the evaluation boards with inbuilt sensors. I mean it, it has got inbuilt sensors. It has got inbuilt capacitive touch and Hall effect sensors. The capacitive touch can be used to detect the human touches, whereas the Hall effect sensors are used to detect the magnetic fields around the microcontroller and both have been presented in front of you for your easier understanding. Let's quickly, let's quickly compare ESP32 Broom with NodeMCU. ESP32 comes with the processor Tensilica Extensa LX6 microprocessor with two cores, whereas NodeMCU comes with Extensa single core 32-bit L106. ESP32 has got Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth 4.2 support, but no Bluetooth support is available with NodeMCU. EE Prom a flash is available with ESP32, no flash support is available with Node MCU. 160 MHz clock frequency is supported with ESP32, but it's just 80 MHz in Node MCU. CAN protocol is supported with ESP32, but it is not supported with Node MCU. We have 34 GPU opens with ESP32, but it's only 17 pins when it comes to Node MCU. 12 bit ADC with ESP32, where it is only 10 bit ADC with uh, Node MCU. Inbuilt Hall sensor and temperature sensors are available with ESP32. No inbuilt sensors are available with Node MCU. That's it. We made a very quick session for the comparison between the Node MCU and ESP32. If you like the channel and the content, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much for following my channel.